so when I was a baby, oops, that doesn't look like me. All right, there we go. So when I was a baby, I was always crying because my stomach hurt. My mom called the doctor and he said I probably had something called colic, which is a super general term, but told her to drink beer before she fed me. She did this and I turned into a happy baby who also happened to love beer. But what was it about the beer that helped me? Well, it's because beer has hops in it, which come from a plant that has a Latin name like a Harry Potter spell, Humulus Lupulus, which can give beer flavor notes like grassy, floral, lemony, woodsy, minty, and tea-like. Humulus Lupulus, also known as the common hop, comes from a family of plants called Cannabaceae, which includes plants like cannabis, hops, and celtis. One of the main terpenes within hops is humulene. Humulene, also known as alpha humulene or alpha carophylline, is a monocyclic sesequit terpene, which really means it's a one circle of three isoprene groups that make it up. Given that each isoprene group has five carbons, giving us C15H24. Its preferred name is 2669 tetramethyl 148 cycloundeca triene, which when you break it down looks something like 2669 tetramethyl refers to the methyl groups that are on the start of the 2, 6, and 9, and 6 is said twice because there are 2 coming from the 6th spot. Cyclo meaning circle, undeca meaning 11 is the longest chain of carbons, and 148 triene shows the 3 double bonds on the 1, 4, and 8 spots on the chain. And you might ask why there should be 15 carbons when you only see 11. Well, it's because the other four carbons are in the methyl groups that were shown earlier. Physical effects include anti-inflammatory, anti-noceptive, which really just means it deals with pain perception, gastrointestinal protectant, suppresses appetite. Other noticeable effects are commonly having a sense of well-being, as well as an antibacterial and antifungal, and a natural insecticide. And finally, it has synergies with carophylline, limonene, and myrcene. Humulene, similarly to carophylline, primarily only acts with parts of the CD2 receptor within the immune system. The image to the right is a crude image of the CB2 receptor sitting on the mem membrane walls of the immune system. They are similar to a lock and key function. The humulene looks for the activated CB2 receptors to bind to. In nature, you can find it in things like pine trees, sunflowers, tobacco, ginger, cannabis, and pretty much any time you see carophylline, you'll also see humulene. The prime temperature to vape or dab this terpene is at 388 degrees Fahrenheit. And with that being said, that's all the information we have for today. If you'd like more information on terpenes, please see the website in the description below. And if not, have a great rest of your day.